Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 2 PC. It is Throwback Thursdays once again, ladies and gentlemen. And while I'm not going to make this a regular Throwback Thursdays, because I, I plan to, to bring this back into the main fold soon, soon there's a couple things that are going to be finishing up soon, and once they do, this is going to be back on the main front line of the channel, because I love it, and it's great, and it's glorious, and it's you know sweet, sweet, nice, and all that. Anyhow, but for now, it's going to be on uh, Throwback Thursdays, and we will see how that all goes. So in the last episode, we went and we did some stuff, but we were missing a few of our crew, which is not great, mind you. But everybody's back up and running now. Cash Key is still significantly weaker than he should be, but, but, maybe, just maybe, we can uh, get him up and running to full speed, yes. Alright, let's see here. Do we have any random thing that we can throw on him to make him a little bit better? A little bit better? I like him with some of the defense and some of the, the hit there, and that gives him a little bit of speed, so we'll throw that in there too. Alright, so a bit more uh, tankiness for him. Let's go and just hop and do the next mission. Please select where you want to go. Everywhere! The battle arena! To the fourth battle. Alright. What does the fourth battle entail? We're about to find out. Maybe. Oh, the Prinny Squad. They're our opponents for round four. It appears that way. I That's, don't see Etna anywhere. Yeah. But I know she must be watching closely. That's Etna's uh, crew right there. Hey, dude. I'm sure Master Etna told you already, but you gotta make this look good, dude. <laughs> if they find out about the setup. You'll be disqualified, dude. Mm. Set up? What are you talking about? We're not planning to lose here. Dun, dude, dun, dun. That wasn't the plan, dude. Yeah, it was, dude. You thought I would let you win knowing that you oppose my father? Imbecile. Imbecile? First of all, throwing a fight is betraying the trust of the modern sports gambler. Yeah, it is. Gambling fraud just isn't my style. Oh, boy. The style's back, ladies and gentlemen. The style has returned. Alright, so the Prinny's well, gonna come up with a This is bad, dude! If we fail, Master Retina will be waiting to punish us, dude! An impossible to fail plan. A foolproof plan, if you will. And I mean it's it's a whole giant amount of fools that are making this plan, so eh. Alright. Oh. We have to win this fight on our own, dude. Oh dang. Yes! Listen up! It's time for our secret formation, dude! Yes, dude! Show me, dude! Are we going to see Pringer X? Oh, please. Please let me see Pringer X. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't want to see it. Maybe I should be scared. Oh, the bowling ball uh, formation. Yes. We challenge you to yes. bowling, dude. Yes, dude. Bowling, huh? You do know that you're on the side that gets hurt by the ball, right? Whoops. Seriously? Dude. It looks like you are just used to being on the losing side. It is so sad. I agree, Rosie. The least I can do is let you die quickly. Let's go. Well, she, at least she's she's kind. Uh, kind's kind of a an incorrect word. Oh, enemy boost is actually quite significant at three x. The twelve pounder printy. Omega. Interesting. Right, how do we get rid of this? Oh gosh, it's way up there, huh? Alright, looks like we'll be throwing some dudes, dude. Uh, that button? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we know that the final person to throw will be Adele. Um, let's see if we can do it with a little bit less than normal. Uh, yeah, Frostbite, that's fine. Let's go with Harry Tom. And one more? Lady Overkill? Sure. I think that's fine. Alright, let's get Adele out. I hope we're not, like, severely overdoing this. I think we're gonna overdo it a little bit, but I don't know for certain. Alright. Lift. Heratom. Lift. Cash key. Throw. 
Throw! Throw? We could attack, but instead we're just gonna, well, throw, actually. Alright, attack, you know what, I have an idea. It's not a great idea, but it is an idea. Uh, is that gonna be... I don't know how much damage that move does. I don't use it very often. It might not work. How much does the Geo Simple... You know what, we'll, we'll give it a shot. If it doesn't work, we'll throw somebody else out here, hopefully. Oh, well, the second attack definitely did some damage. Well, here comes the fun. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to get a pretty good chain of events here. And all of the crew that are out and doing stuff should be strong enough to deal with, you know, the, the fallout to this. Do we get a big explosion too? No? Yes? Yes. Oh, but it looks like the explosion only hits enemies. There's still so much about this game I don't get, I don't understand, but that's okay. This is one of those games that you literally spend hundreds of hours playing, just like the first game. Hundreds of hours playing because there's so much to it that you'll continually learn new and new and more cool, awesome things as you go through. All right, let's see. We don't use. Ah, I said we can do some pretty on pretty action, and I'm okay with that. But for right now, you don't seem to be able to get to where we need you to be. Ah, uh, we used ha Hanako for a little bit. I don't know that I want to continue to use Hanako. Mm. Wow, she's actually quite strong. Alright, I guess we use Rosalind, Planair, and the others. I was going to try to do something fancy, but I guess we ain't going to be doing nothing fancy right here. No, we not. Get wrecked! Wow, that was a lot of damage. That was a pretty tremendous amount of damage, in fact. How about if we get Planair to actually do a little bit of throw a throw? We pick up Izul and we throw Izul up here. Izul cannot make it to anything amazing. It's okay. Um, poison blast. Yeah, sure. Boom. Alright, let's end the turn. Let's see what the printies bring together. Dude. The printy dance! Pretty dude. <laughs> That's it? You wanna hit one of them? Dude. What? Oh, for a minute I'm like, is he attacking his own pretty brethren? Pretty dude. I feel a little bit bad for Lady pretty Overkill. Dude. She's gonna have a little bit of a rough time here as pots and pans fall from the sky. A multitude of printy dances. There's going to be another printy attack from afar, too. It's not going to be the ideal situation, but I think we'll be alright. Please turn and smack him. Oh, here we go. Tag team. Printy dude. You guys, you guys tired of hearing the printy dude? I'm not. I love it. I love it. It makes me smiles. Printy dude. Bonk. She's probably getting close to dying. I think she might survive, but... Mm, no, no. It was close. It's rare to see her go down, though. I'll admit it. That is a rarity. Alright, I have a plan. Again, probably not a very good plan, but it's a plan. All right, let's go ahead and lift you. Let's go ahead and lift you. Ha <laughs> ha! Gonna throw you up here. And throw you onto him. And he will throw you. Oh, it's so perfect. It worked. It was exactly the plan. And get handled. Yeah, yeah. Planair is gonna say good day, sirs. And the printies just got annihilated. Well, only two of them, oddly enough. 
I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting a bit more. Did I leave anybody behind? Oh, I did. I did leave somebody behind. Well, that's a thing. Let's get Kashiru out. Wait, where, did our gunner guy die? I think he did. I don't remember him dying, though, but I, apparently he did die. Well, that's, that's kind of poopy. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, we'll pick up and throw you out there. And... Yeah, I guess I guess we'll do it this way. We got pretty barrage, right? Yeah, we do. Dude! Cool. And I suppose from there... Yeah, we've got the attack. Get wrecked! No treasure loot? No treasure chest loot? No looted chest treasure? Nothing? Okay. Well, I certainly tried. Hmm. Well, I suppose I could triple strike. Whoa, what did I do? I, I guess I bumped the wrong button there. My bad, yo. My bad, yo. There we go. Yeah, I must have hit the wrong button with my thumb. I fat fingered it. You know what I'm saying? Alright, everybody's good? Everybody's good. Let's end it. I believe we'll survive. The only one who's a little bit weak is Izuwao. Or Izu. I'm imagining Izu will be okay. Maybe not. 80 damage is not insignificant. The pretty dance to Harry Tom. Not super impressive, but eh. Oh, he didn't kill him. Huh. Neat. I think Izzel goes down. Let's see you. Nope. Survived. Nice. Dude. Dude. Bonk. Okay. Oh, we're confused after all of that. All of those uh, shenanigans. Can we? Oh, we have freedom. What is that? Steel freedom. Paralysis. Nice. I'm going to use the Raiden Missile again, though, because it's more fun. Boom! Go down like Sweet Muffin? Yep. Hmm. No bonus stuff. Um, can you make it? You can probably do another, another Prinny Barrage. So we will assume that that's the thing that you're going to do. Let's go ahead and triple strike you. Prepare! Alright, you should be within a pretty barrage range right here. Pretty barrage. Can we get the, the kill blow? Pretty dude! And boom. Nice. Very nice. Um, how much we can do? I, I Wind charge, fire charge, ice charge, mega ice, weapons. I guess we'll do ice weapons? I don't know. Hmm. It's a, it's, a, it's a tad underwhelming, to be sure. Hmm. Just outside of my range, but not from here. From downtown! Down you go. Alright. Let's get Harry Tom to say good day with the fissure of Colossitude. Boom! Huh. You lived. That, ooh, that will not work. Confusion apparently prevents us from using special, special skills. Um, yeah, let's just do this. It's fine. We don't need to do this, but I like to level up the skills if, when, and where I can, so might as well. Boom! Wrecked! Stage cleared. We got an Ashigaru. Imperial Seal, of the Battle Axe, and some Chicken Blood. We didn't get the Puppet or another Ashigaru. Or the Beck Do... Do Grabrant Ban, I guess? I don't... I have no idea what that is. No, I don't want to skip the story. Come on, now. They seem... This is bad, dude. Unhappy. so screwed. Yep. We better hide out at our secret base, dude. It beats whatever 
whatever Master Etna's planning for us, dude. Huh, ah, Axel. you won again. You're almost dark hero material. I say Axel didn't talk this whole time. It's great. And then bloop, there he goes. Hmm. If we lose, it'll only make you happy. So we gotta win no matter what. It's just our style. <laughs> Today's competition is over, but tomorrow you're gonna fight other groups that won all their fights too. Sweet. So unless you want to embarrass yourself in front of everyone, you better run home crying now and forget about tomorrow. It's not our style. For the advice, but unlike you, we're gonna win our fights. Yeah, you tell them. So I did some digging around the other day. I'll, I'll oh, continue this in a minute. <laughs> I am relieved that we have won all of our battles. Indeed. So I did some digging around the other day, and I was looking through my PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, all my games that I have for consoles. Even though I don't play them very often, I was just deciphering uh, which ones I had, and looking, and I have quite a few RPG games I didn't actually cover. So I kind of reorganized them to the things that I might actually want to play, and all that. So, and I, I fired up the PS3, it seems to work, that's good. Anyhow, I, I was looking around, and I actually have a PS3 game called Cross Edge, which apparently is a... It's like a crossover title that's got, I think, tactical turn-based combat like this or similar to this. I don't remember exactly. I haven't played it in a very long time. But it has Etna in it. It's got Adele, I think, and a few others. So it actually has some characters from Disgaea. It's got a bunch of other characters from other series as well. And they all kind of conglomerate into this one big pile. And it's kind of cool. So I, I'm very curious and interested to play that. I, I want to check that out and see what it's like, especially now that I've play the Disguise series, I you know, I now have the familiarity with Edna and whatnot. It, it's kind of neat to see certain characters in other franchises or other games, I'm just saying. Anyway, onward! At this rate, no one can stop us, princess! Mr. Stupidhead doesn't look happy at all! Mr. Stupidhead. Who's Mr. Stupidhead? Oh, how'd you do? Did you get another win without having to fight? Hmm, friend? What, huh? What's wrong with your voice? Did you catch a cold, Sam? You must leave the battle arena. Sam? What? We have a mission to accomplish. I won't allow you to interfere. Well, this is weird. What are you talking about? It is too early for you to be sleep talking. Mm. You, the one from the other day. It appears you didn't get enough back there. Oh. What was that? What are you talking about? Interesting. Look, you! The same evil pulse I felt 15 years ago! Creepy. Hmm? Is there something wrong with me? You! Can can you be the overlords? We don't know what your deal is, but if it's a fight you're looking for, I'll fight you. Yeah, and my big fat tie. I'm Johnny Fat Tie over here. Watch this it. This is unexpected. I must retreat for now. Bye, Yukimaru. What's wrong with her? To her? Okay. I don't know. Weird. 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 Yay! Usagi and Flanair. It's six o'clock and time for the news. It's six o'clock and time for the news. Pop quiz! Oh gosh. The mystery deepens when the Colosseum episode continues. This quiz is on the new character, Yukimaru. Normal Yukimaru is polite, then the other Yukimaru is rude. Why are there two? Yukimaru is really a pair of twins! <laughs> uh, that is incorrect. Sorry, although twins are in at the moment, that is not correct. Yukimaru has a split personality? <laughs> uh, that is also incorrect. <laughs> Sorry! Now. If only there was a sexy stepmother or stepsister with a personality that loved me, hmm? Oh, oh well, boy. we will save the correct answer for next time. I must warn you, it isn't so great. So don't expect too much! Okay. Drunk Tink Mahalak! Drunk Tink Mahalak! Oh, dang. Poor guy. My, my. I look away for two seconds and this is what happens. Why must you be so much trouble? We're back? Are, are you serious? 
Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> we seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties. Well spoken, Planair. Well spoken. I would like to take a moment to apologize to all of our viewers for any foul language or obscene images that were broadcast. Where's the rest of his ear? I guess notice that he was kind of missing the top of, the, I guess it would be his left ear, but if you're looking at him, the ear to the right. Alright, come on. We better go to bed early today so we'll be rested for tomorrow. Hmm, good idea. What's I thought wrong? so too. Are you still thinking about that Yukimaru kid? No, it is more important than that. Don't worry, I'll keep my promise no matter what. You will meet your father. Hmm, I won't be expecting much, but I do expect you to keep your word. Hey Adele, do you know what's gonna happen when you get to meet Overlord Zenon? We're gonna fight. That's just my style. Hmm. Well? Of course he knows. He's gonna fight him fair and square and defeat him so that we can turn into humans. Y yeah, that's right. I was born a demon, but I wonder what I'd look like as a human. I bet I'd look sexy, huh? Uh. What do I do when I meet him? Guess I really won't know until it actually happens. Awkward. There's some foresight for you guys. Episode 7, Battle Tournament. It's gonna happen tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, live. No, it's fine. Alright, we're back here. Oh, this is, di this is different, isn't it? Uh-oh. That's, I'm gonna kill your face, Etna. Oh, boy. Hey, Pernice, how's it going? I'll talk to you guys in a minute. What's going on over here? We lost the third round because we went with cheap equipment. For only 50 hell more, uh, uh, just makes me sad. She probably just works at a shop. Such devious commercialism. Ah, <laughs> oh, I lost. This sucks. Urgh. Now I'm upset. This is unforgivable. How? Why? Simply put, you were just weak. What's up, friends? The pretties that lost to you went to hide at her secret base to protect themselves from Master Etna, dude. I think they said Land of Carnage, dude. Ooh. That's Golak. What about Drutch? A dreadful punishment awaits those who lose in battle. That is the iron law laid upon us as servants to Master Etna, dude. And... And Manti. You promised you'd lose to us. That's cold-blooded, dude. I never promised that. We're here. Hello, weird guy. Though my body became a demon, my heart remains the same. In other words, you just lost. Hey, 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 listen. I got an autograph from Axel. His band, Akutare, rocks. He's the ding-dong ditch netherworld record holder. This is my greatest treasure. I didn't think his fans really existed. This world is a mysterious place. Indeed it is. Also, there seems to be another treasure chest out in the way. Mario Boy. Wow, Adele, you actually won. You really are an awesome demon. Hey, I'm not a demon. Or am I? No, no, I'm not. All right, how do I get to... I guess like that. Surprise. Ooh, I got snake kidneys. Because of course I did. Who wouldn't want a snake kidney? I mean, come on. I think it's a snake kidney. Uh, we have a lot of random stuff. Uh, recovers HP and SP. Do snakes even have kidneys? Mm hmm. I do not know. Sup, my dream is to become the Netherworld's top breeder. Creepy. Sanchez? Let let us equip swords and guns too. What? I can't do anything uh, anything about that. There we go. Did you know there's no prize money for this battle arena? Overlord Z Zenon is kind of stingy. Insolent fool! How dare you? Huh? Why are you mad? I just am. Okay. If you want to meet Zenon, wouldn't it be easier to look around in this coliseum instead of trying to win the arena? Hmm, it's not a bad idea. Fool, don't be lazy. It's only emotional, emotionally motive or moving if you earn the right to meet my father. Well, that's that's fair. 
That's fair. We need to have the right motivations to do things. Well, I suppose. Guess we just go this way. Cotton candy, what? Sup? The merit of attacking from a distance is that we don't get counterattacked. If you attack from a distance in the back, you won't receive counterattacks and efficiently cause damage to the enemy. I understand that, but it's not a little unfair. It's better than losing, justice wins. That is the way of this world. Well, that's fair, and I, I do agree. Alright, let's talk to you. Yes, we need healing. We do not need healing because everybody got resurrected when the, the level ended there. No, 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 I don't want to... No, there, yes, this, this thing. Why can I come out over here, but I can't get over to there? Oh. <laughs> it doesn't help me any, but I'm here. Cool. Lots of weird stuff, I got to say. This whole area is very strange. It seems someone has desecrated the holiness of the fighting grounds. Okay. Didn't know the holy... Oh, didn't know the fighting grounds were holy. Hello. The Shogun Spear. I thought at first it said the Shotgun Spear. I'm like, yes, yes. Everything about the Shotgun Spear, I am all for. And then I was sad when I when it turned out to not be the Shotgun Spear. Alright, I think we've talked to everyone but Etna and this Harry Tom lookalike guy over here. Although I have lost the battle, I gained something more important. In battles with her, I have realized love... I'll never let go of her. Hmm. Maybe I hit him too hard. Probably hit a bad spot. Eh. That's a little funny. A little funny. It's a little funny. Alright, I think that's that's it. So let's go and um talk to the to the guards with the uh, pitchforks here. We are overlord Zanon's servants, but we have never seen him either. I guess that's how cautious he is. That must be a reason why such a coward would host a battle arena like this. Weaklings like you are still winning, huh? Are you seriously planning to win? Of course! Alright, let's talk to Edna and let's call a close. You know what? We'll talk to Edna in the next episode. How about that? That's right. Cliffhanger moment. You guys are going to have to wait to see what Edna says. She's probably going to kill us. It's not going to be great. We're going to weep openly. She does look a little upset. Alright folks, that's going to do it for uh, this episode of Disgaea 2 PC here on Throwback Thursdays. It's also going to be the last of the Throwback Thursdays for this week. And I will see you guys next Thursday with other random throwback things. And I think I might even be able to bring Disgaea 2 PC back into the main fold this coming week. We'll see. We will see. Either way folks, that's it for now. I'll see you next time with more Disgaea 2 PC. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>